Yeah, we're coming up on the biggest tournament in bass fishing. We got the Bassmaster Classic coming up soon. You know, it's going to be on Lake Hartwell. It's going to be cold. I promise you, it's going to be cold. It could even be snowing that time of year. I mean, that's, that's a type of tournament that is going to set up really well for a jerkbait bite. You know, it's, it's going to be cold, those fish are sluggish, and those fish, they're going to be staging up. You know, there's a lot of spotted bass in there, a lot of largemouth, and you can win with either species. And both species will eat this shadow wrap. And you can bet that this Rappler shadow wrap is going to be in my boat. It's going to be tied on, and it could play a huge role. It could even win the Bassmaster Classic. That shadow wrap action, that you know, real horizontal movement, but not moving away from the fish, could trigger a few strikes that could win the Bassmaster Classic out there in Hartwell. You know, there's a lot of other baits that I'm gonna have to have tied on. You know, those fish are gonna change, conditions may change, and I could see, you know, a big you know, one ounce, three quarter ounce Terminator football jig coming into play. Something a little sneaky squirrel like the Rapala Jig and Wrap. You know, typically used for ice fishing, but it's not only meant for ice fishing. You catch a lot of bass that time of year on a jigging wrap. If things warm up a little bit and those fish start to move shallow, if you can't catch them on one of the new Arashi Deep Tens, you know, that bait has got a very good action for that time of year, or the flat seven. A lot of times those largemouth, they'll pull up more shallow than you would think they would if you get some sunny, warm days that time of year.